You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. A special show today about Grandma Nellie, the saint. And please remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. My grandma, the saint, I want to confess my prejudice right up front by declaring unequivocally that my grandma Nellie was the sweetest lady who ever lived. I didn't realize this until she had passed away. Memories of Nellie crowded into my mind. Nellie in the kitchen, her ample form covered by a checkered apron. The smell of the no-baked cookies, ooh, oh. The twinkle in her eyes, Nellie's rose garden. Who would tend her roses? They were used to Nellie's sweet voice and caressing touch as she coaxed them into bloom. But what I remember most was the summer when I was 10. I awoke at night and at two in the morning and heard a voice softly speaking. A dim light filtered into my room. I silently tiptoed through the darkness and peeped around the door into Nellie's bedroom. She was sitting in the middle of her bed with photographs scattered out in front of her. I watched from my hiding place as she lovingly touched each photo praying for the family member. When you thought I wasn't looking, you hung my first drawing and I wanted to draw another. When you thought I wasn't looking, you fed a stray cat and I thought it was good to be kind to animals. When you thought I wasn't looking, you baked a cake just for me. And I knew that little things were special things. When you thought I wasn't looking, you kissed me good night. And I felt loved. When you thought I wasn't looking, I looked and wanted to say thanks for all those things you did when you thought I wasn't looking. I visited Nellie in the hospital a week before she died. I suspect she overheard the doctor say nursing home and simply willed herself to die. Technically, her heart gave out, which makes sense, knowing how much she used it. Grandma Nellie decided early on that being there for children was more important than working to buy them stuff they didn't need in the first place. <laughs> Psychiatrists have the couch, but Grandma had the rockers and the kitchen table, and a certain way of listening as if you were the only one in God's world worth hearing. Mm. A lot of talk these days of the formation of self-esteem and helping children feeling valued but we want the schools to do it. 
I remember when an hour with grandma left you feeling like royalty. Given her prospects, I understand her leaving. Only thing is, she left before we're done needing her. I wanted my sons to do some rocker time with her. I wanted them to hear how there was no one quite like them and how special they were and handsome and smart. The kind of things Grandma told me. Mm. At her funeral, the minister said, it was a day of celebration. It holds up until someone like Grandma Nellie dies. <laughs> then no amount of talk eases, eases the pain. The graveyard sees a hurt that the classroom never knows. The Bible tells us not to worry that in God's house are found many mansions. I don't think Grandma would like a mansion. Too much dusting. Just give her a rocker and a child that needs love. Throw in a breeze that blows in from the old days when an hour with a saint made the world all right. Hmm. Nellie's no-bake cookies and hot tea. Wow. You won't learn this in textbooks, she softly said to me. How you can lift another soul with just a cup of tea. Richer than I you can never be. I had a grandmother who read to me. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. My final thought, you can learn these things from your dog or even your cat. And for some people, they're pot belly pig. <laughs> I hear they make great pets. To love children. To drink plenty of water. To be a dependable friend. To guard family faithfully. Everyone that cares for you. And to be faithful unto death. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.